Hey everybody, Mike here at Real Texas Outdoors. I'm going to make a short video here to show you guys the process I go through when building these uh, cloverleaf baitfish traps. And so I, I do realize it's going to be very quick, um, but it'll give you some idea if you're trying to build one yourself, kind of the process to do. So the first thing you want to do is to obviously get your mesh cut, but then you want to find the center of your uh, panel, and then I'm outlining here where I'm going to put my bait compartment. And then I go and I'm going to make marks of where I want the, the funnels to go and make sure everything is measured up. And kind of a pro tip here is to go ahead and mark the other side. That way you can line it up and uh, it'll line up perfectly and, and won't look goofy. So as we start forming it, the very first you know thing is to really take your time and form these funnels. You can see that I use one long piece of wire there. Uh, it is a process. It is a little bit of a work of art and I've built thousands of these things at this point. Uh, and so I got it down to a, to a, I guess a, a T, but you can do it. It may take you a little bit of time to, to go through it and, uh, you know, practice what you're doing, but you can definitely get it done. And so really this whole thing here, this whole step is just to form your funnels and you can see I'm clipping them where I put the marks on the mesh. I'm not just randomly guessing where it goes. There's none of that. It's all measured out. And so I know exactly where to put everything. So I'm going to be quiet and just kind of watch the, the video here and you can follow along. And uh, once I do something different, I'll let you know. All right, so we're coming to the end of the forming. I call it, I guess, the forming phase where you're building the funnels and you're making the, the trap take shape. And so once I come to the end of it there, I'm going to cut off that excess that you see on the end. And a lot of times I'll, I'll over, you know, I'll over measure or whatever, and I will leave enough to build the bait compartment that goes in the middle out of the same cut there. Um, and so after you get the things formed, then you're going to go back and shape the funnels, make them look nice and neat, shape them how you want them, clip them in place. I've done this a thousand ways and that's the easiest. Next thing after that is go ahead and cut out uh, your entry points for each trap. Do this before you put the bait compartment in the middle because it's going to save you a lot of time versus having to go through and cut them from the outside. That's horrible. And so that's uh, that's definitely a pro tip there. Do it before you uh, put the bait compartment in the middle. And you can see I'm forming it and I'm bending the little pieces that I've cut. I'm bending them outward uh, to kind of, I guess, give like an exit blocker for fish. Now I'm drawing the lines on the mesh here to uh, build that bait compartment that goes in the middle. Sawing it and cutting it. We have a wire bender to form it and make it look nice and neat. And clip it together. And then you're going to see you put it right in the middle. And by this point, you know, it's probably about 15 minutes into the trap. Um, and the rest of it's downhill from here. You just line up the top just like the bottom. You have the everything lined up perfectly. And then you just go around and start clipping it all together. And what I try to do, um, you know, is get the corners in there first, and get the corner started, and then after that, I try to put uh, clips exactly where they're located on the bottom. And so if it's, you know, three inches from the side I, on the bottom, I put it three inches from the side on the top, if that makes sense. And so I just go around the whole trap again, forming everything just like I did on the bottom. Uh, but the process is much, much quicker on that time, as you know, the bottom's already done, the hard work's done. Cut out the top clip your compartment in there and then you're basically done with the trap now the next step is just to cut out the exit door where you're going to pour the fish out I usually do like a you know I don't know probably like a four inch by five inch cut there on that put the doors on it so uh, you can hold your bait in and your fish don't just swim out you definitely have to have the doors there And after you get this part done, you're going to, you know, if you don't have bungee, you can use whatever you want. You can probably use some string or some zip ties or something. Um, but I have some marine grade bungee there that I'm using to uh, put the doors on. Or to secure the doors, I should say. And then I put a little holding handle that goes on the top. And that really is pretty much it. 
and then after I'm done with the whole thing I'll go back and I'll just kind of double check triple check to make sure that I haven't you know left out any part of it all that's what I'm doing there is checking it and flipping it and checking it and that's it and that's a wrap that is a, a whole trap made from start to finish you know without cutting out the mesh obviously but uh, that's the process I go through. If you have any questions about this, if you're building your own and need some tips, please don't hesitate to, to leave a comment or to send me an email. I'll be glad to kind of guide and help if I can. And uh, if you're in the market for a baitfish trap, you're not going to find one that's better made. These are these are great, and uh, they work excellent. So if you have any questions, just let us know. And thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. God bless.